On September 15, 2022, the police department received a call about a man bothering people leaving a driving school and looking into vehicles. The caller was concerned as the kids were soon to be leaving the nearby driving school. On arrival, the officer noticed the kids leaving the school and located the suspect in the parking lot who seemed agitated. What is it? I'll send you. Okay. Are you new in town? Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving today. Okay. Hopefully my son gets uh, Hopefully I release it from And then I yeah, will leave it today. Okay. Yeah. Where, you, where, you, where you staying at? I'm staying in the street. Okay. Do you, have, do you have an ID so I can say I talk to you? Uh, no, because I just had a problem with uh, these guys who were here. Yeah. And I never did something in the, in the computer. So whatever they put on the computer, it's fake, man. Oh, okay. And, and I went over there and talked to him. And I told him. You mean over here at the, the burrito place? No, over here at the uh, economy and then at the church, man. Okay. I mean, uh, I went over there to take a, to take a dump and we had the dumpster. Yeah. I already cleaned it up. So okay. and then he probably went over there and took a picture of it. I don't know. Everybody saying it's a big here. Okay. I'm not. I'm not worried about that. Can I just get? Can I get your name and stuff? So I can say I talked to you. Yeah. What's your name? Alcencio. How do you spell it? A U S E N C I O. A U S. E N C I O. And what's your last name, sir? Zaragoza. Z A R A. Z A R A. Okay. 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 What's your birthday? Do you, are you are you from New Mexico or? No, I'm not from here. No. Okay. No, I know that. I know that. Uh, where where are you from? From Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, I'm here. I just came over here to visit to uh, take my son. Okay. We got a we got a reset here. Now we. What's his name? What do you get arrested for? For trespassing, supposedly. Oh. Then uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Uh, you know what I mean? They, uh, they, they, I don't know how they do things over here. They process people real fast. You know, getting evidence. Yeah. Whatever. But I don't know. They say, oh, uh, he's, he's going in for trespassing. Okay. Okay. So, okay. No, man. I don't want no trouble. I, I know. Let me just double check. I don't think they put anything. Let me double check. I don't think they put anything that you were doing anything wrong, but they're kind of worried. They say you're making some odd statements and stuff. Yeah. Well, they heard me because they, they heard everything there. They oh, you were, you were just upset? They, they followed me everywhere, brother. You know what I mean? Okay. Just, All right, give me a second. Upon speaking to the suspect, he told the officer he had gotten into an argument with someone at the driving school after he took a dump behind the business and they made a Facebook post about it. He went on to tell the officer nothing else had happened. Is that, is that your car right there? No. no. Oh, where do you live right now? I live right here. I'm just waiting for my son to, uh, I'm gonna go look for my son and then I find him. Yeah, you know, right now. I had a problem with these people, man. Which, which people were they? I don't want to, I don't want to have them. Which ones were they? Uh, the guy in the driving thing. Uh, the other one, uh, the other one was put like, in the computer or something. What they say? I don't know. They're just running there. And, uh, I don't know what they say to each other, man. I don't, I don't want no problems. They hear me all the time when I talk. They hear me. You know? Have you been here for a while, or? No, I just got here like a month ago. Just like a month ago, and we're here right now. You you've been staying here for a month? No, I'm staying here. Uh, the parking lot over there? No, no, over there by the uh, house. By the bank, by the post office. Oh, up of uh, Pine Tree. Yeah. Pine so, tree. where did they post? What? What's that? Post anything about me? They said that. Well, they just said you were making strange statements and you were you were looking in car windows and stuff. I, I still didn't know. Nah, I still didn't go to the interview. Okay. About what he posted on the Oh, so he, the guy over here posted something on Facebook about you? Yeah, I went over and took a shit, and then he put something there. Uh, he 
After identifying the suspect the officer discovered, the suspect had outstanding warrants and called for backup. While awaiting backup, the officer calmly spoke with the suspect, who had rocks in his hands, and questioned him on more details of what had happened. The officer asked the suspect to put down the rocks, not knowing it was a request that would start a chaotic scene. Um, can you put the, you put the rocks down? Why? Why do you, you need the rock for? No, because I, I, I was checked the other day, and I was good, so they must have put something, something. Then, no. So, Asensio, you have, you have warrants for seatbelt violation and something no, else. No, no, I don't. What's I, the other one for? I never had another... I want to check the other day, bro, and they don't tell me anything. Our system so, has been down, bro. What's the last part of your social? Check it out. That, that, that guy didn't tell me anything, bro. Okay. So, no. Awesome. Well, I'm not, I'm, I, I can't go right now. Bro. Well, no. Hands behind your back, bro. Sent you. Hands behind your back, bro. Taser, taser, taser. Sent you. Don't do this, bro. Hey man, uh, let me go talk to him. Let me go talk to him. You gonna roll him on your stomach? Let me go talk to him. Let me go talk to him. Snipes, watch my ankle, bro. Let me get up. Okay, let me nope. Get up. Nope. Nope. Who's right. gonna tase him? No. Nope. You wanna get tased, bro? I don't think you do. You get snipe? Yeah. Hey, wait, wait, I'm bleeding, bro. Oh, let go. Let go. I can't get it. Bring your hand back here, bro. You're gonna hurt yourself, bro. Yeah, you can swing that one back if you can. Where's this hand? It's on my left. It's where? On my left. That's it, we can't come. I don't wanna come. Oh, I gotta bring this one out. I can't get it. Look. Like... See your handcuff snipes. Where's his wrist type shit? Okay. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! No, no, no! Let me get up! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Well, let me put, put your hands behind your back as soon as we get these cuffs on. Get up. As soon as we get these cuffs on you, you can breathe. Let me get up, man. Come on, let me get up. I don't know where you're... Let, let me get up, bro. Let your hand... Put your hand behind your back. Let me get up. Put this behind breathe. your back. Now, put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. This one. Snipes, right, let's get his right arm behind his back. Get one more over here. Here, get up, bro. Nope, nope. Put your hand behind your back now. Okay, wait. wait. Nope, no, no. Hand behind your back, bro. Okay, wait. No. Nope. Hey, I'm bleeding. I got corona. I see that. So put your hand behind your back. I got it. You see something in there, bro. You got this hand. Where's the uh? This suspect refused to be cuffed by the officers for several minutes until another officer joined in. If you, all right, let me get up. No, I, I will. Nope, yeah. you've already tried running once. No, 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 get, no. Not get up, Asensio. So stop. All right, all right. Put your left hand hey, behind your back. Hey, come here, let me get him. Okay. Put yeah, your here, left hand behind your back. Yeah, I put it here. Nope. You get come stuck. on, man, come in. Yeah, yeah, get up. Yep. Let me get up, bro. Let me get up, bro. You get stuck? Yeah, I'm good. I'll do that. I'll sense you. Do what I'm asking you. Put your hand behind your back real fast, okay? Can you do that? Hey. Hey. No. Can you get some air? 
I'm not gonna let you run off, dude. No, I'm not gonna run off. It's not off. happening. I'm not gonna run off. Okay, get on the ground then. Get on the, hey. If you take three seconds to get on the ground, hey, huh? so we can put these cuffs on you, we'll let you right back up. Okay, okay I'll let you out. get on the ground. Get on the ground, please. There's a dog coming this way too. I don't think you want any part of that. Get on the ground. Hi, mind your back. This one too. This one too. Thank you. Not with me, bro. Sure, he had rocks, he had rocks. Okay. Probably still does. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yep. We got one We're making so this way too hard. Yep. Well, you're good. Just pry it out. Hey, come here. I know, we want to give you some air here. Give us your arm then. Give Let's us your arm, arm and we will. Let your arm out. You come on, man. Give us your arm. What arm man? Ah. Here we go. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Hey, come on. Hold on. Stop. All right. All right. Oh. Oh, we Hold on. We need some water. We got to fix. Now we got to fix ourselves. I got it. All that for nothing. Oh, I'm just really. Hey, give me some water from that. Stop. Stop. The officers eventually were able to safely take the suspect into custody and handcuff him before searching his person for dangerous items. So he's on another charge for him? Uh, that's up to him. I charge you, but that's, it's his call. I'm not going to tell him what to do. Me, yeah, that's what happens when you fight with the police. Like, they didn't try to hurt you, but you're fighting on the ground. I get there. I don't know who knows how long they've been fighting with you. You're on the ground. It's just a bunch of lies, man. It's just a bunch of lies. Okay, I'm over in, uh... In, uh, in Amarillo, she's got out of jail too. Uh -huh. In Amarillo, and uh, uh, the cop stationed me over there. He stationed me because he was saying that, that I was, uh, uh, that I was walking in the, in the houses, you know that? Walking in the houses. Oh, well, I'm sensing a theme. Huh? Like, like a, maybe a problem with authority? For me? Yeah. I don't know. Uh -huh. I have I to get here in Vietnam. Uh, Alright. Uh, what about the warrants, my dude? I don't know. That last time they checked me like two weeks ago. You didn't have any at that I time? I didn't have anything. Okay. So they just took my son that one time. Uh, so, I don't know. How can we fight with them? Because the guy is lying. I wanted to go touch him. But that's everybody together, bro. Alright, do you feel injured at all? Are you hurting? Obviously you're bleeding. Yeah. Is your head hurt? Are you hurting yeah. anywhere else? My head hurts, bro. Your head, anything else? What's up, man? Let's go. What happened? I got a bag in my Did you guys make a trip or? No, I did my hands on. Okay, we'll fight gotcha. a little bit. Did you lose consciousness? Yeah, there we go. Do you remember what happened? I just I remember when they came up and approached me and started running. Upon completing the search, officers found metallic knuckles in the suspect's pocket. After the arrest, the suspect was evaluated by EMS on the scene to ensure he did not have any serious injuries or needed any medical attention. The EMS personnel determined the suspect did not have any serious injuries. The suspect was arrested on his outstanding warrants and charged with resisting arrest and unlawful possession of weapons. And while this man had previous issues with the police, this next suspect is the last person you'd expect to behave in such a manner. 
On the 19th of June, 2022, the Ohio Police Department responded to assist EMS at a residential address who was attending to an injured woman who had fallen and was bleeding. Upon arriving at the residence, the responders discovered that the woman was very intoxicated. When attempting to bend a J, the woman's head, she fell backwards onto the ground where EMS began treating her injuries. <laughs> Yeah, he's intoxicated too. Whoa, 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 whoa. After the woman had fallen, a man walked from the side of the house, along with a child. The man was unsteady on his feet, and the officer reported he walked into a flower bed and off the sidewalk, almost falling over in the process. The male confirmed to the officer that he was drunk. The child on the scene was escorted by the officer to the front of the residence, as the child was becoming visibly upset by what was happening. Upon returning to the side of the residence, the man had pulled the woman into his lap and was bear hugging her. Is that him? Yeah. Okay. Now. Hey, Tyler. Tyler. Tyler, you need hey. to listen to me. Hey, you need to get up, okay. and you need to come around the front of the house okay. right now. Okay. You understand me? Hey, look at me. Look at me. You understand me? Okay. Let's get up. Look at me. I'll okay. help you. I, I just I'll help you. Hurt. Come on, let's go. Okay. I just, I just hey, look at me. You're interfering, and you're gonna get in trouble if you don't stop. So quit. Tyler. Quit. Okay. Tyler. Let's hit. Let's get up. Tyler, go I got her. I need a unit down here right now. Two seven. EMS was unable to safely continue treating the woman's injuries in the man's lap. The officer called out to the man while tapping his shoulder, trying to get him to move. The man seemed to ignore the officer and continued hugging the woman. The officer continued trying to get the man to release his hold of the woman, but he did not. Listen to me. You're interfering and you need to get out of the way. So stand up and let's go. Come on, I'm not trying to make trouble with you. Just get up and get down here, okay? That's all I'm asking. You stare me down like that, and that doesn't make me very comfortable. So get up. Come on, get up and listen to me. Throughout the conversation, the man had glassy eyes and slurred speech. After so much persuasion, the man still wouldn't allow the injured woman to be treated. At this point, the officers had no other choice than to detain him, but the suspect revealed a very hard to believe piece of information. He's the last person you'd expect would be exhibiting such behavior. Okay. All right. Go, 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 go. Put your hands behind your back. I'm going to detain you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I am under arrest. Stop. Officer. And you're going to stop right now. Then you know what the hell you're doing. So stop I and turn around. Police turn around right you now. You have no authority. Turn around. To detain me. Stop. <laughs> you need to get the f off me, too. Get down. You're under arrest. Stop. You're going to get tased. Stop. Get on your back. What are you doing? Absolutely. Three, I've got one male in cuffs. Over here. I need your car. I need your car. Let's get him out of the car. Right here. Hey, hey, hey. have a seat. I don't even know who he is. I know him. He's a cop. Okay. 
No, I had not patted him down. I think he broke my finger. Yeah. You got anything on you? You got your gun on you? Uh, Honestly, I really... The officer placed the man in cuffs and walked him toward the patrol vehicle. And no, he wasn't lying. The man was later identified as a police officer with the Lima Police Department, but he only remembered that as soon as he realized he'd be arrested. That's definitely not going to save him. As a matter of fact, it could cost him more. The man was placed in the back of the police cruiser and was later taken to jail. He was later charged with assault, misconduct at an emergency, disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and obstructing official business. But if you think Karen can't get worse, this next woman will shock you as she thinks she can brandish a gun at a harmless driver and get away with it. On the 14th of November, 2022, officers received a call about a woman who had just picked up her kids from school, brandishing a gun in a traffic jam due to road rage. The officers engaged in a chase and the car stopped after a while. The police proceeded with caution as the suspect was known to possess a gun. However, surprisingly, the victim complied with the police as she came out of the vehicle without being forced and answered questions promptly. I got off probation. I've kept up on all my shit. I'm sitting here like, I don't okay. know what's going on. 
I got weed in the car too. Let me make that clear. Okay, who's, the, who's the male in the front seat? That's a female, sir. Her one? name's Brittany. Who was that to you? That's my friend. We live together. Okay. okay. Steven is your son. And he's sitting behind my seat. Okay, and the little and the uh, the twelve year old is in the backpack sleeping. Her name's Naya. Do you have anything on you that you should not have? No. Okay, I'm gonna just. It's in the car. You can okay. go in and pat me okay. down. Okay. My ID and stuff all on my right side, along with my uh, debit card and my, I have nothing else on me. Okay. That's why I'm sitting here like I don't even know what I had. Then I went up so to the cigarettes? school. Oh, are they in my pocket? Yeah. Oh, okay. I took one out to light it and then okay. I set it, I set the rest right. down. Have a seat. Turns out there was another adult in the vehicle. The officers ordered her out, and she complied as well. Passenger. Open the door and put your hands out the door. Put your hands out the door. Hands straight up. Step out. Keep your hands up. You're going to turn around, face away. Step off the curb. When the police asked about the incident earlier, the suspect explained her side of the story and also said she only made a gun gesture with a finger and that there was no actual gun. We'll see if that's true. I'm not gonna so, lie. I have drugs in the car, but that's, those yeah, are mine. Well, that's so. at least my concern right now. I know. So here's what happened. We had someone call, said that they had honked at you for whatever reason and the driver of your van pointed a gun at you. Since I'm the only one who drives my van because the insurance is on me and not my vehicles, okay. that would have been me. But again, the only okay, thing I had, I had to honk at somebody at the light, which if the cameras work on the lights, you can see, because she flipped me off and she kept playing uh, when it was our right. turn. Well, there's there's two sides of every story. No, so no, I'll you're just fine. give me a brief description. That's, that's, and she that's did flip us off and everything. And she made sure to go through the intersection at doing like five. She literally sat at the green arrow the entire time, flipping us off because she didn't want to go. Okay. And rolled her window down and called me all kinds of names. So I did this with my hand and I said, you stupid bitch. You know, because you point, I can't, I talk, you know, I use my hand, I talk, I'm like, stupid bitch. So she slowed up real quick. And then what it looked like was taking a video of my van, which I'm like, I'm going to Thornton's if you want to meet me. Okay. That was the it. The reason we stopped and the reason we're doing what we're doing is because it got reported that you had or pointed a gun out the car. That's no, I, I, I got that now. Okay. I got that now. Yeah. Like I said, I was on probation. I haven't been yeah. in any trouble beforehand and except for There's that. There's no guns or look like guns in the car? No. Like I said, I pointed okay. my hand like this. I'm like, you stupid bitch. Like, sorry. I no, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I don't, like I said, I have nothing to hide. I told you my what I have in the car that are mine. Okay. The drugs related. Um, other than that, there's nothing in my car. Okay. More chicken for running on the driver. No, no, no. What? They're so, gonna search my car. So what? What kind of what kind of drugs do you have? Just have weed, or do you have more than that? I have, I have a couple X pills. So I'm okay. not gonna lie. They're personal use. They are my pill bottle. I mean, yeah. other than that, yeah, I don't have an ecstasy. No, I don't have prescription yeah. for ecstasy, I sir. Know, you gotta ask. <laughs> um, who, who would prescribe? <laughs> No. You'd be Other surprised. Than that, I've had people tell me how to Oh, and I have my, them. I have, uh, I just bought a bottle. So that's in this brown bag still. And then I have two double shooters of the 99 bananas in my middle console. 
that are open. So, so there's no reason someone would say that you had a gun besides pointing your finger yeah, at Yeah, like I said, she literally, if it's the same person we're talking about that happened right before I turned on to Neil from Windsor at the light, she literally slammed on her brakes, waited at the light, waited for the arrow to turn green. So I honked at her because everybody else was going and she didn't go yet. And so she honked back at me, flipped me off, and was cussing the entire time while not still turning. But the officer's search of the vehicle says otherwise. Did you look up front already? Yeah, he's got a 32 back there. Probably does. He's, I think Gavin's got most of the front over there. Okay. It's like a storage area underneath the passenger seat behind the driver. So, well, I was going to try to conceal it. Yeah, it's going to move it. Can I see one of our victims come over here? Yeah, or you want to do like a show up? Well, a show up and two to see. I mean, right now we have ag assault. Right. Right. Do you think I should meet her, like, off scene to talk to her or just try to talk to her on the phone? Well, we have two things. A, is this the vehicle involved? It sounded like it was because they're corroborating the RP victim story. Um, secondly, if you want to be a victim. Because we have a gun, well, an airsoft. So we don't have a firearm charge, but if she wants to be a victim of ag assault, we have ag assault. Right. You think, okay. you think anything else? No, just because, uh, I mean, being a BB gun or a pellet rifle takes away from it being like UW, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, we don't have any kind of firearms charge. Right. Um, I think right now all we'd have would be Agasol. Um, the suspect was eventually arrested and charged with two counts of possession of a controlled substance and aggravated assault. She was given to two years probation and 30 days of community service. But this is just the beginning of a crazy Karen as this next suspect turns a simple traffic stop into something much more. On the 5th of March, 2023, during a traffic monitor in Florida, an officer noticed a car with its high beam on the officer signaled to the driver to deactivate them or switch to low beam, but the driver decided to put on the typical behavior of a Karen. Sergeant Brian Long, the police department, you let your window down for me, please. It's down. You have this license registration proof of insurance. There you go. Do your license registration proof of insurance? I don't have that on me. Right I don't now, you have that on you. Just go in my phone and grab it. Okay. High beams are typically activated in low light conditions, such as poorly lit roads or areas lacking street lights. They are also suitable in situations without oncoming traffic or when driving in rural or unlit areas to improve visibility. It's crucial to transition to low beams when approaching or trailing other vehicles to prevent dazzling drivers. Since this area is well lit with other cars around, there's no need for high beams. Instead of simply switching to low beams as instructed by the officer, the driver opted to disregard the command and drive away. The officer pursued the vehicle and conducted a traffic stop, and the driver's subsequent actions were uncalled for. I cannot. Unfortunately, it's a safety issue. Okay. All right, Mr. Do me a favor. Step out of the vehicle for me. No, no, no. I'm going to get you. Okay. I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle for no, me. No, thank you. Okay. Well, you don't have that option, okay? If yes, I'm, I do. You do not. Yes, I okay, do. Okay, so I'm asking I'm you to step out. I'm not going to step out. Why did you pull me over? 
death alarm. He's starting another unit. All right, I'm gonna ask you one more time, okay? Sir, why did you you can either step out of the vehicle sir, or I'm gonna go ahead and bust this window and pull you out of the vehicle. For what? Okay, because I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle. We're gonna, we're gonna, let me get my insurance. Okay, ma'am, I'm gonna ask you one more time. No, sir. To step out of the vehicle for me. Where it was. Nope. Which was at Circle K or in front of my father's house. Okay, do me a favor, step out of the vehicle no, for sir, me. No, sir, I just, I don't see why. But I'm telling you to. I feel comfortable in my car. Okay, I'm well, I'm not car. asking you anymore. I'm, I'm telling you to step out of the vehicle. Can you please call another sergeant for me, please? Uh, I am the sergeant on duty, so you can either step out of the okay, vehicle. So I'll just call 911. If you call 911, you're going to go to jail for misuse of 911. For what? You just I'm telling you, over. if you call 911, you're going to go to jail. I don't feel comfortable. I feel okay. shaken right now. Well, I don't know why. Because you're asking me to pull over. You said you were going to yes, break absolutely. my window. Yes, because I'm and telling you to step out of the vehicle. I don't need to tell over. you why. I'm That's telling a you to part step of your duty. It is not. Yes, it is. So you can go ahead and step out of the vehicle and you're going to go to jail. I 100% do. So All of it. So you can go ahead and step out of the vehicle I'm going to pull you out of the vehicle. Okay. You got one more opportunity to step out of the vehicle. I'm going to shatter your window and I'm going to pull you out. I'm telling you what's going to happen. So you can either step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle now. Excuse me, can I get a second? So step I out the of the vehicle now. Cool. Nope, I'm told you, you're, you've you got that option. You're going to jail. I'm telling you now. Coming out of the vehicle was all she had to do, yet she hesitated. The officer's subsequent actions could be deemed reasonable as she might be considered a suspect for disregarding the officer's commands. But she did something even crazier after. That's what I got when refusing to open the window. Um, maybe you step up. Tip off, Castleberry's got a unit close. I'm about to shatter your window, ma'am. Step out. What's wrong with you? Step out of the vehicle. Now. Can I step out of the vehicle? Can you let me step out of the vehicle? Get out of the vehicle. Pepper spray deploy. Step out of the vehicle now! What a boy! Step out of the vehicle! Do it now! Do it now! Get out of the vehicle! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back! Do it now! Put your hands behind your back! Stop for a second! You're gonna get tased! Lock it up! Don't. Call for money, honey. All for money. Medicine. Stand up. Can you give me my glasses, please? And we'll get in a minute, dude. I'm going to die in your um, handcuffs. That's all I know. The officer broke her glass when she wouldn't obey. But this female made things even worse as she deployed pepper spray on the officer. However, that would only make things worse for her as she would be taken to jail with a list of charges. Far from a guy. <laughs> well, <laughs> now you're going to jail. For, for resisting, <laughs> obstruction. <laughs> 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 we'll get them in a minute. I'm not worried about your glasses. I am. I don't care. I don't care about anything for yourself. What's that for? We got one secured. We got one secured, but can't subtract additional units. You can keep another unit coming. Can you have FD in route as well? Have a seat. <laughs> Just so you're aware, you're going to jail for resisting with violence, obstruction. No, I'm not giving you your glasses right now. I can't uh, see. Okay, well, we'll take you up to the hospital. You got pepper spray in the so you go up there and get medical clear. Okay, okay but so. I, my, I can't see. Okay, so well. We'll, we'll get him in a second. Thanks. I'm telling you what you're going to jail for, okay? All you had to do no, was simply step you out of the vehicle. I don't need to tell you why you started pool drill, okay? As correctly stated by the officer, she simply needed to exit the vehicle, but she refused. Following this, the woman was taken to the hospital for medical clearance, 
then transported to jail and charged with resisting an officer without violence. Subsequently, she received a $213 fine and was assigned 11 hours of community service as part of her sentence. And this next male suspect proves that being a lawmaker doesn't stop you from being a Karen. On the 15th of December, 2023, officers stopped a North Dakota lawmaker, Nicholas Rios, at 11.30 p.m. after his vehicle failed to stay in its lane. Rios was initially compliant and could even be heard saying he's not trying to give police any problems, but that wouldn't be the story later. Yeah, you can go in the glove box if you need to. Hey, I'm not trying to give any of you guys any problems. No, you're okay. Not. I'm just like I said, I'm gonna give you guys my card to let you know. No, I don't want your card. I need your registration, buddy. Hey, I'm not, I'm gonna find whatever you guys are looking for. Can I ask a question? Uh, how long's that open bottle of Corona been back there? Nice three, four days. Three or four days? Okay then. Uh, wait, do you know where your registration is in the vehicle? Uh, at least um, April 24. But do you know where it is in the vehicle? Yeah. I, there's, the, the, there's, 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 there's no op an open bottle of there, 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 I can see there's a glass bottle of, I believe it to be Corona back there. I was just asking. Yeah, but I can assure you that I live two blocks away. Okay. Have you had any alcohol to drink tonight? Not in like, what is it? It's uh, midnight? Like six, seven hours. Yeah, it's uh, 11 40 right now. Six, seven hours. Oh, okay. How much do you have, do you have to drink? Uh, three, three or four beers. Three or four beers? Where was it? Uh, at the restaurant at hey, Famous Aids. Another secondary question. This is expired by like four months. Do you have like a newer one or a more recent one? I definitely do. Okay, that's totally fine. The officers requested his card, but he offered to give his registration instead. This could be attributed to two factors. Firstly, he's a lawmaker, and he probably wants the officers to see that and give him some respect. Secondly, it could be because his registration had expired four months ago, and when the police asked about it, he said he had a newer one. Why didn't he present that initially? However, that would be the least of his problems, as the officers found an open container in his vehicle. However, he claimed they had been there for about four days. What is it still doing in the car then? Slaters? The club players Slaters. Okay. okay. When, when, when were you there? Like two hours ago. Okay. Did you have that Hey, that open container was like a weeks ago. Yep, well, you know, you can't have an open container in the state of North Dakota, okay? So I'm going to have you step out of the vehicle, okay? Let, let, can, 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 no. can you unlock your vehicle so we can step out and then come out? Okay. Step out and get through the Okay. I'm happy to do it. Okay. Uh, you gonna do it? Yeah, I can do it. I'm so. What, what I'm gonna do? Yes, sir. I, so, I, I, I don't mean to be any. No, you're good. So you said it's been six hours since you had last drink? Yes, sir. Okay, then. So. 7 p.m. Well, it's like 2 a.m. now. Okay. I live two blocks away. Right. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I wanna conduct a, a series of field sobriety tests, okay, to make yes, sure you're good to drive. Because I smell alcohol in your breath, and you, you're slurring your words a little. I said with the, the Slater's Rest band, but you said you're coming from Famous Dave's. Um, so I just wanna run some uh, field sobriety tests. Are you happy to do that? Absolutely. Why not? Full stop. Dispatch right to Delta. He initially claimed the container was from four days ago, but now he's saying it's from weeks ago. He is not good at telling lies. In North Dakota, having an open container of alcohol in the passenger area of a motor vehicle on a public highway, or in an area used principally for public parking, and on the grounds of the opened container, the officer asked him to step out of the vehicle for suspected DUI. However, the officers have to ascertain their claim by conducting a field sobriety test, which he agreed to take. However, the officers were able to confirm his alcohol level, prompting further tests. 
but Rio wouldn't agree to take any more tests, and this marked the beginning of his outburst, and the officers did what was necessary. Six. I'm gonna get on a flat surface. Seven. Okay, that's perfect. You can stop that. I just need to, uh, and my colleague might be grabbing a, a bit of paper. I'm going to read you something. Um, are you grabbing it? All right, cool. All right, so I'm going to read you something here. It's a little bit uh, wordy, but I have to read it verbatim, so it might sound a little funny, okay? Hey, can I ask you a few things? Just uh, let me read this real quick, because I've got to read this to you, okay? The officer shall inform the individual that North Dakota law requires the individual to take the screening test to determine whether the individual is under the influence of alcohol and that refusal of the individual to submit to a screening test may result in revocation for at least 100, 180 days and up to three years of the individual's driving privileges. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand, okay. sir. So what I'm going to uh, request is that you provide a specimen breath in a uh, it's called an alcohol sensor, otherwise known as a, a breathalyzer. Yes, sir. Are you happy to provide that? I'm not going to do that. You know why? Why is that? I'm speaking because I'm like two blocks away. Okay. You guys are on me. Okay. And you, so know, I... you guys are going to you guys are going to regret picking on me. Okay. Because I'm... you don't know who the okay. I am. Okay. Just one second. I'm going to give I'm going to I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you a chance again. Do will you provide the test? No, sir. Okay. And you know what? Sir, this moment time you're under arrest DUI. Press on my back. I'm gonna have uh, another thing. Oh, hold on. Give a cup up. Cheers. There's a couple more things I need to read to you, okay? No, I don't have any calls trouble with you guys. Can you call trouble with me? I'm just about to try to do that. So I'm gonna rest you on. Alright, so I'm gonna put him back to your car, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna read something real quick. You have the right to remain silent. You do. Rios was read his Miranda right and put into the police vehicle. He became more agitated at this point as he began laying threats on the officers. He even asked them to turn off the body cams, which is very inappropriate. Okay, you're not going to be driving your vehicle, okay? No, I, I, I so, but what we can do, we can lock your vehicle, okay? And we can bring the keys with us. There's two of you. How many? Well, uh, yeah, fuck, I'm there, not driving two. that car yeah, well, that well, far. So this is the it's best literally like two blocks away. This, this is what I can do though. Instead of leaving it on that side, I can put it over there. I can put it right over there when it's no, more I want to drop. Way. I want to drop my fuck off. All right, okay. no, we're not doing that. So we're gonna we're go to this vehicle. Oh, we're going. You're a okay. Good. We're gonna go to the rear passenger side of the vehicle. There's okay. Reason nobody respects you. Okay. There's no need for that language, bud. You guys gonna regret this more than I will. I just can't get that. All right, just hold on for a sec. Hold on for a sec. Just don't go in yet. Okay. As of everyone. This vehicle has been searched, there is nothing in there. Anything that's found, once you leave, is going to be related to you, okay? Do you understand? Yes, sir. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Right. So it's easier to scrap them then. Hey, so, I'm, uh, hey, hey, I mean, no respect to. Uh... Alright, I'm just going to. You ain't got any weapons or anything on you, have you? No, sir. Right, I'm just going to search you real There's quick. There's no weapons on my car either. So, what do you want us to do about your car? So, what I can do is I can roll through windows, shut your vehicle off, and you can have your keys in your possession so that when you are released, a sober individual can do it, or hey, I'll that's, tell the you best. What. that's the best. We're not moving the car, Those are, that's your only option. I'll drive it to my place. No, I, I can't. No, I, I can probably We're not doing that. All right. No, 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 no. Are you good? Can, can you guys give me five seconds? Are you happy for us to park the vehicle? Right, or would you want to Can you give me five seconds to you? No. Okay, step in the car, bud. No, just get in. Step in the car. Go ahead and get in. Hey, where are you from? It doesn't matter. Alright, where's the keys to your vehicle and we'll, we'll turn it off and lock it? It's inside my uh, uh, transmission. Do you want them with you? Simple yes or no? Uh, no. You don't want them in? You want them in the, your car with you? You want them just left in there? We can leave your car just like that if you want. If you can pull it over to somewhere where it won't get hit. Yeah, I can move it over more and I'll leave it there, shut That's it off. Alright, we'll do that. Do you want your uh, 
phones? There's two phones in there. Do you want those, and do you want your... Uh, I would take two phones there. I would really appreciate it. Okay. Because I, I got to call Attorney General Drew Wrigley to let these guys know what you're being an ass... Okay. Just to uh, uh, let you know, all of this is video and audio recorded on body camera, including your language, right? Uh, hey, hey, do you want your wallet? It's your cameras right here. Have you got a wallet? It's in my... My... Okay, have, have you got a wallet in the vehicle that you want? My wallet is... Yes, my wallet is a... Fucking... Yo, you're eating your pocket? My left... Uh, yes, sir. Okay, do you want to hop out? I know I'll grab that for you. That way, it's, yeah, that's uncomfortable for you. Can you, can you think I'm gonna run from you or leave you? Yes or no? Step out. I'll grab your wallet. Can you at least put? Here you go. Okay. Uh, he did want his two phones. Yes. You want your two phones? You want your phone too? Yep. Yeah. No, there's no, there's no wallet there. Hey, first of all, watch your mouth, man. There's no wallet. Doing you a favor. You're doing me a shut the. Get, right, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. There's no wallet there. Get in the car. No, get in the car. Oh, sorry. I thought I had one. My bad. Nope, not in there. My bad. Dude, my wrist hurting. Can you listen? Listen now. Dude, he's asking me to turn off my body camera. No. Yeah, no. Oh, God, no. no. I'm going to. No, that's insane. Well, uh, let's search his... But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Rios was transported. Rios said many things you'd least expect from a lawmaker after learning where the officer came from. For someone of his status, he should know better. I don't know what you mean. Are you proud to be from England? Yeah, I like my country. I have. What? Yes, I like my country. Are you proud to be English at least? Why is that relevant? Yes or no, am I wrong? Answer me, bro. Can I... I'm 
The officer's character is quite commendable as he didn't utter any words despite the insults and racial slurs. At the end of the day, Rios wished he hadn't said that as he was officially charged with open container alcohol in a motor vehicle, operating a motor vehicle with blood alcohol content, refusal to provide a chemical test. He was given a court date, and he also had to apologize publicly for his misdemeanor. And while this lawmaker insulted an officer, this next Karen had previously fled from the police, but her nemesis caught up with her eventually. On the 23rd of December, 2022, and spotted a woman who had fled from him two weeks ago at a store. The woman was seated in her vehicle. Of course, knowing she was in trouble, she decided to lock herself in her vehicle, ignoring the officer's commands to open the door. But that's very small compared to what she did later. We went to pull her over the other day and she took off from me and uh, then uh, we, she also got resistance targets, so I'm just waiting for some other officers to grab her real quick. She's gonna go to jail today. Just leave that right for me. So Fox shot that one time. Hello, ma'am. Go ahead and open the door. Okay, wait, that's that. Can you open the window? There's no space. Can you open the door? Hey, ma'am, could you open the door? Yeah, that's it. She has the, the little front right there. Ma'am, you go ahead and open the door. Oh, there he goes. Hey, the sticks are on the ground. She's, hit, she's put it in reverse. Oh, the sticks are gonna hit it. Okay. Open the door. Please. Hey, uh, you your the window down. Hey, 14, where's your sticks at? You want me to grab my sticks? I can put them in the front, too. Because I want to talk to you. I... What? What? What's for the name call it? I've been nothing but nice to you. The officers calmly implore this Karen to come out of her vehicle, but everything seems to be falling on deaf ears. But that's even better. What she did next is crazy. It was the same thing that got her in trouble. However, this isn't her lucky day. Ma'am, can you step out? I think you got a good stick here. Did I? Yeah. I hear air leaking. Yeah, she got, yeah, she got sick. Move it again. Stop. Don't. All right. Ma'am, go ahead and get out of the vehicle. Can I get removed forcibly? Kilo 11, same truck. Copy, same truck. Uh, 
Let's take it to the last one. Just hold on the window. Just hold down a little bit. Be careful, she whips that thing out. It's your shit. Just hold down a little bit. So what we got is, this lady has 65 charges from McGovern, and I get, she got fleeing and eluding charges for Centeno. Um, we've confirmed, I went to Broadway and asked for the case number that should be on the screen. I put my sticks in the back, the sticks already hit the back left tire. She's been trying to get out, like slowly. Um, and then she just doesn't want to open the door. This is your car? This is uh, Desi, Centeno, and then mine's over here. Get it a little closer. All right. So just to confirm, we have clean loot charges, clean loot charges, shoplifting charges, shoplifting charges, and the vehicle's been involved in a 23 and a priority 65 from Walmart. Okay. And she's okay, not 23 willing. With okay. She's not willing to come out. She's not willing to come out of the vehicle. Try to talk to her. She was rolled up. Hold on. Can you hear me, ma'am? Can you hear me? Snowing everything. Let me talk to you, okay? Go ahead. Listen, you can pretend that you don't hear me, but this is what's gonna happen. We have charges for your arrest right now. If you do not open this door, we will break these windows and we will get you out. Do you understand me? Police may break a suspect's window under certain circumstances, such as when there's an urgent need to apprehend a suspect or protect public safety. This action is typically taken when other methods of gaining access or communication have failed, and there's a perceived threat or urgency. It's generally a last resort to ensure swift and safe resolution in specific situations. And in this case, this woman has proven to be a threat as she refuses the officer's commands, and it's definitely a probable ground for her arrest. There's probable cause for your arrest. Probable cause for your arrest. I'll explain to you if you step out. There's no need for this. Shoplifting, flee and elude. So this will happen one of two ways. Each one of those ways ends up with you going to jail tonight. You understand me? But I don't want to do that. I want you to come out. You can tell me what the issue is. Look around. There is nowhere to go but out of this door. Ma'am, you, you're not free to go. You are under arrest. You need to come out. The tire's going to point towards you. It's going to stick out. If she turns, she's going to turn to you guys. What? I can't hear you. Can you get your car closer there? I can't hear you. You need to roll your window down or something. Understand that we need you to come out of this vehicle. Even after so much persuasion and the number of officers around, this woman once again tried to elude, but that wouldn't work, just as it didn't earlier. Don't do that. Don't do that, ma'am. Don't do that. You're running over my officers right now. Get close. Eleven office, 10-6, temporary three for the unit, uh, Wawa office 25th. I need you to step uh, out of the vehicle. Man, step out of the vehicle. Alright. Not this one, we're gonna do that one. Okay. Listen, I will give you one option to step out of this vehicle. We're gonna break that window, we're gonna get you out. Do you understand me? Let me know when, sir. You need to come out. Ma'am, you need to step out. We're not gonna do that. I just need you to come out and talk to me. I'm trying to explain to you, but you're not. Right now, you have charges for shoplifting yeah. and fleeing the loot. So what's it gonna be? I don't wanna have to break the windows on this car and yank you out of this car 
when you can just step out on your own. There's no need for him to be extra stuff. What is she doing? Ma'am, what are you doing? What are you doing? I need you to stop reaching around. Ma'am. Yeah, move out of the way. Move out of the way. Am I good to... Stop reaching around, ma'am. Ma'am, stop reaching. Be smart about this and come out. There's nowhere to go. You can't go forward. You can't go back. I just need you to step out. You step out. Everything's going to be nice. Nobody's gonna harm you. Why are we doing this? Nobody's gonna do anything to you. You can resolve it peacefully. Huh? I can't hear you. Crack it a little bit. Just a little bit. So I can hear Crack you. Crack your window. And finally, she got what she wanted. Hey, reverse lights are on. All right. Break it. All right. Ma'am, go ahead and step out of the vehicle. Step out. Nobody's gonna shoot you. Hit unlock. Hit unlock on that. Hit unlock on the door. Step out of the vehicle, ma'am. No. Step out. No. You're gonna get pepper sprayed. Pepper spray me. I'm gonna be fucked up. Go out, ma'am. We're good, we're good. We're we good. got enough. Watch his hand, watch his hand, watch his hand. Maybe she's not resisting. Double up, double up. Double up. Hey, well, won't you not stir us? There was no need for this. This is all I because you chose to. Maybe we'll go to Alright, let's roll over. We're gonna roll it down. That was easy. Alright. All right. Do you want your shoes? No, sir, because I can't stand up. Okay. You want to sit on your butt? Yeah. Ouch. Thank you. Okay. Whatever case it is, obviously, Raider Miranda, do your interviews for whatever you have. You read her all the rights. Yeah. And she... All right, ma'am. Um, if you want to speak to us, you can. If you choose not to, you don't have to without a lawyer present. However, if you do understand the rights that we read to you, why wouldn't you get out of the car? Alright, she invoked. She didn't have any damage to the cars because it looked like when she tried to push forward. She just made contact with Mateo's uh, tire. And then he was already was on the backside he just had. Once she started barking towards us, he had positive pressure. You definitely stuck the car. Look at that spot. Technically, that's my stick, though. Look, that's my stick. Yeah, but that's my stick. This car's going to be towed, so obviously we need somebody to do an inventory. I'll do that. You're right, Sonny. Hello. Thank you. And yet it wouldn't have resulted in that if she hadn't resisted. The woman was eventually transported to jail and charged with fleeing and eluding police, resisting arrest without violence and possession of MDPV. And while this woman tried to flee from the offices again, this next Karen had a very pathetic story behind her erratic behavior. On the 4th of September, 2021, officers responded to a call about a woman who had caused a scene earlier at the gas station. As the police approached her, it was obvious she didn't seem to be in her right senses. However, she had a very touching story to tell. Lincoln, Victor, Nora, George, Lincoln, Robert, George. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm on the side of the road and I'm crying. Please leave me alone. 100. Hello, ma'am. I'm Officer Contreras. I didn't do nothing wrong. Just I'm listen. on the side of the road and I'm crying. That's it. Okay. The reason why I got called out is because of the little scene that you caused at the gas station. All right, work. Well, I didn't hit nobody. I didn't do nothing. So I'm on the side of the road and I'm crying. And that's it. That's all you need to know. Okay. Well, that's not all I'm investigating right I now. didn't commit a crime. I didn't do anything wrong. So that's it. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Nope. Nothing to drink? Nope. I'm a very dramatic person. Well, I'm actually, boss. I just found out I had herpes. My man broke up with me. 
and I just got burned $250. That's it. So I'm crying my face off, trying to find my fucking phone, trying to contact my man. Dude, I didn't commit any crime, so you can kiss my ass with your bullshit. Well, they want you trespassing the gas station. So. That's fine. Can I go get ahead, your... write it up. Yep. Don't I... go to your car. Hey, I'm grabbing Don't my ID. Don't go to your car. I'm grabbing my ID like you asked me to, boss. Did I ask you to grab your ID? No, but I knew you were thin the tooth. I didn't ask you to grab your ID. All right, Better boss. lose your fucking attitude with me right now. I'm trying to be cool with you, but I can only take so much. Mm-hmm. All right? What? You keep it up, you're going to be put in cuffs. You're probably wondering why the officers didn't allow her to enter her car or take anything from it. Well, the officers don't know what is in her car. Allowing her to enter the car in this state might be dangerous. She could grab a weapon or even attempt to drive off. It's a good idea the officer didn't allow her. But then, she became uncooperative with the officers as she wouldn't provide them with her details. And she even attempted to enter her car again. What's your first name? What's your first name? You can find out from my ID. If you don't provide me with your first name, I'm going to charge you with concealing identity, okay? <laughs> you just been, told me not I, to go into my vehicle to grab my ID. So which one is it, boss? I want you to identify yourself by your first name, last name, and date of birth. Yeah, I can grab my ID so that you can do that. I don't know what's in your vehicle. I don't know what's in my vehicle either. Mm-hmm. I'm not concealing my identity. I'm trying to get you my ID so that I can... Provide identification, just like you asked me to. I get that. Okay. What's your first name, last name? I'm trying to provide you with my ID, I don't sir. want you to go inside your vehicle. Okay. Because okay? I don't know what's in there. Your vehicle is obviously running. I don't want you to take off. All right. So I'm not going to let you get anything okay. out of your vehicle. Well, I'm not going to get in. I just want to reach for my wallet that's right there. Can but... I grab your wallet? Grab my wallet. Okay, you'll grab yeah, I can grab it. No, he's, he's gonna grab it. Baby, it's right there. Yeah, yes, sir, it sure is. I don't think you should put your hands on me, sir. I don't think that's a good idea. Hey, I have to go potty, so can I use the bush right there right quick or no? Hold on. Before they get me into the book. Can I get your ID out of here? Yes, sir, you sure Thank can. Thank you very much. Afterwards, this girl exhibited some eccentric characteristics. She went from being friendly to being rude to even crying. Typical behavior of intoxication. She even called herself a psycho. And 
I just started sitting here because I didn't want to drive while I was upset. I didn't want to drive while I was upset because I didn't want to drive stupid or nothing or nothing or nothing. She's kind of valid. She's clear valid. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to stay here. I just wanted to cry. And that fool just went around all here. Oh, Yeah, we got this. <laughs> there's four of you and there's one of He's me. Leaving. So He's leaving. <laughs> no, there's three of you and there's one of me. So yeah, Bianca. I didn't do nothing about nothing. Fool. Like I didn't do. No, I didn't. I didn't. Hey, Look, okay. I didn't. I didn't. All right, we're cool with that. Well, we, we just want to make sure you're okay. I didn't bring no laws. Okay, we we came out here to make sure you're okay. I didn't bring no laws. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I have a mental disorder, and that's why I'm acting the way I'm acting. Not because I'm intoxicated. Not because I have. Any okay. any intoxication of the sort. Okay. Will you be willing to submit to Saturday for sobriety test? Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. Can you f off with your stupid shit? Where? Down right there. Yeah, right. According to protocols, the officers decided to conduct a field sobriety test to determine her alcohol levels. She agreed to take the test, but she wouldn't stop. There we go. Keep your feet together. Yeah. Hands directly at your side. You're gonna fall. I'll tip my pen with your eyes and your eyes only. Okay. Do not move from this position. What if I cry? Well, it's in my pen with your yes, eyes, eyes on. I hear you. <laughs> on your discretion, that's what you got. Because I'm following your tip, fool, and you did it like done five or six times with your already. Eyes and you're only. <laughs> well, it's in my pen. Yep. Boy, cause my eyes can't go that far. That's why you're fucking docking oh, me, fool. Fool, will you have that shit? Wait the fuck out here, fool. Go, go. Cause it's not up to your part. That's why you're pissed. I don't. Oh, it's in my pants. All right. Well then. Oh, it's in my pants. Yes, babe. I learned how to follow instructions because of my man. He used to beat the fuck out of me. Are you gonna do these tests? Yes, I am, and I'm trying to tell you that I'm so good. That's why if you do these tests, then I'll know. Right here, right here. Yeah, right here. Right. The officers eventually arrested her for suspected intoxication. She again returns to being and requests why she was being arrested. She was initially compliant, but you know, a Karen will always be a Karen. Be honest with I am being honest with you. My thing was hurting. What thing was hurting? My vagina was hurting. Okay. <laughs> I found out he was cheating on me. <laughs> and then when I was cheating on him, and then I ended up getting this nasty ass, disgusting shit. <laughs> so I automatically feel like a whore. 
No, 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 no. For what? Can I ask what I'm being arrested for? Yeah, we'll talk to you right now, okay? I'm going to put the clips on you. Oh, man. Okay. 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 Don't worry about it. You're doing nothing wrong. Okay. You do nothing wrong. What did I do wrong? At least tell me what I'm being charged with, motherfucker. Hold on. Let them put the cuffs on you. Fucking bitch ass, man. You had to come here. You had to fucking get me on the low, motherfuckers. Couldn't even tell me that I was getting arrested. Stop moving. You bitch, man. Oh, you fucking bitch. Hey, hey, hey. Relax. Relax. Right now. All right. I am. Relax. Let go. Let go and I'll relax. relax. Right yes, right I am. You're going to go through. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I dropped. Yeah, can you grab those for me? I didn't do nothing. You know, I complied with everything. What did I do? No, no, no. Tell me what I'm being Tell me what I'm being charged with. Now! Uh, Tell me what I'm being charged with. Now! Suspicion of DW. What? Suspicion of DW. Suspicion of DWI. I need I'm requesting to get you a BAC. I'm requesting now. Okay, we'll go get you one. How about that? BAC. Now. Yes, now. Where's your thing now? Thank you. Where's your thing now? Relax. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Put it out. I'm not going to deal with that, all right? I'm not dealing nice with you. Put it out. Oh, Don't. You want a felony? You want a felony? Don't get my life partner. Scared, bitch. Just don't kick, okay? Just don't kick. Yeah. Hold up! I'm not even. I need a BIC now. Okay, let's go get to it. I'm not. I'm not drunk. Will you let me go? If I show you that I'm not drunk. She has a water bra, but I don't feel anything else. Okay. Okay. So everything else is. I'm not drunk. If I'm not drunk, will you let me go? Hey, if I'm not drunk, will you let me go? I'm asking you a question. Have a seat. Sit down. I'm asking you a question. Sit down. Right now. We're not gonna play that. Right in the car. The female was eventually taken to police, and although her charges aren't clear, they'll include resisting arrest and public intoxication. For more interesting videos, do like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.